So we knew Destined for Rebirth trailer dropped. Square Enix dropped it. It's only like a minute long or less. Uh, not super long. So I'm interested to see what the heck is going on here with this. Let's go. Oh, snap. Nibbleheim. Oh. What happened to this place? It was seven. Yo, this is hype. It can't be. Oh. He wants to oh my. And rule over the planet. You coming? Way ahead of you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get to work. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo, some new stuff here. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my God. Yo, yo. All right. All right. That, that was sick. That was sick for one minute. Roughly that was sick. So that looks like something I would edit too. Like that's insane. I got to go back on that a little bit too. Looking at it. Uh, looks amazing. Yeah. Facts. Uh, we, we got Nibbleheim right here. This is Nibbleheim in the flashback. Clearly, right? When it's on fire. And then I'm not sure exactly where this is going to take place. Like, what happened? unless that's maybe a, their alternate timeline. We still haven't seen anything from Zack's timeline. This right here is possibly the back Black Materia. Maybe him getting the Black Materia. Um, and then Jun Harbor. Oh god, it's so fucking hype. We have to help them. Uh let's get to work. It's new zones. I think we fight the uh, the fucking snake. You know, we fight the damn serpent that's essentially blocking us at our right outside of Midgar essentially, so that's what I think that is. This is so damn cool though. Got Hojo in there, of course. Um This I'm not sure. Is that Ember? Is that supposed to be a new revision of Emerald Weapon or the submarine area? I, I don't know. It could be. Um. Dude, why is this going so hard right here? Hold on, hold on. Why is this going so hard? <laughs> hold on, hold on. This reminds me of something. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, like that that uh that howie scream thing. Um This reminds me of that bit. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't help it, okay? I'm goddamn. Oh, uh, but holy hell, that that's sick. That's sick. Freaking almost here too. It's so close. Oh man. So high for this. Let's see. And we also got some new updates. Uh so let's go in here, right? Let's check this out. All right. <clears throat> So, start a new year. What a better way to celebrate with a new look at one of 24's most exciting games. Yes, most anticipated game, I believe, of 2024. For a new trailer, which we took a look at. Um, let's see. So, Regions of the World, World of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is comprised of multiple regions. Each boasts unique environments for you to explore. Let's take a uh, look at a couple now. So, we got Star Wars uh, Junon. So urban residential zone within a fortified metropolis overlooking the ocean. In addition to housing, portion of personnel, high-end boutiques and restaurants line its streets. Makes sense. This is where the president gets his inauguration parade and all that stuff. Current purpose on the way for your roof is presidential inauguration parade. Yep, yep. Shimmer 8. Now that's the boat that you get on, you sneak on to take across the coast of the soul. And it looks like they turned into like a cruise ship or something here. Like this looks freaking fancy. Holy. Wow. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm looking. Uh, this is looking really good. Uh, really freaking good. 
Like that that's sick. Uh summer ship that ferries travels between the planets eastern and western continents after departing the uh port of Junan. It heads to resort to yep, Costa de Sol. As part of the onboard entertainment ship plays a uh plays host to a Queen's Brew wait or sorry, Queen's Blood Tournament? Wait, what? That's a spoiler. Uh what? That's new. Uh new characters Kate Seth and Moogle. This gregarious cat fights from atop his sturdy Moogle mount, who provides both mobility and support during battle. All right. So, I mean, and for what I've seen before, too, it seemed like Kate, Kate Sif himself is going to be, like, not always attached to the Moogle, like, in terms of combat and other stuff, which is good. Uh, when Kate's, Kate's not duck, duking it out. His high tech uh, helper aids him in hacking computer systems and telling fortunes, right? Uh, we've seen Elena before. She looks good. I'm hoping the actress, you know, does a good job with Elena. She may be a rookie. She's all as skilled as her fist and a gun as anyone else in the Turks unit of Shimmer's General Affairs Division, right? Right. Uh, and she and her partner, Rude, are tasked with pursuing the black robed figures, she, which she is more than happy to do if it means being assigned a mission. With saying, uh, this this character's new Captain Titov, if I'm saying it right, maybe definitely a new character. It's the captain of the Shimmer Eight, responsible for overseeing safe passage for all who travel between Junin and Costa de Sol. He has earned a sterling reputation among his crew thanks to his unerring devotion to his duties. Uh, it's the most evident during. The various uh, festivities held aboard his vessel, which he personally and passionately uh, MCs. Oh, all right. Combat's up next. So, you know, got some new additions here. Yuffie, basic attacks. Yuffie quickly strikes enemies with a large throwing star. The speed with which she attacks allows you to charge ATB faster than most. Okay. While her throwing star is out, Yuffie can unleash magic infused ninjutsu to punish foes. Hmm. So it sounds like it, they kind of went the Naruto route with her. I feel like because I'm getting Naruto Shippuden vibes a bit here uh, with what they're doing, especially with this. Like, what the? Like, what is up with this doll here or like possible like clone like Jujitsu thing or something? But as Yuffie excels at chaining her attacks together with and switching their elemental affinity, her double ganger ability allows her to attack in tandem with her clone, enabling her to exploit enemies' weaknesses even more effectively. Naruto, ju Shadow Clone Jujitsu, not Shadow Clone exactly, but you get it, the idea. It's the same concept. Uh, okay, cool. Unique ability, hurling her throwing star at enemies. Allows Yuffie to keep up the pressure from a uh, distance. Nice. Our throwing stars out. She can also pelt her foes with ninjutsu, whatever element her target is weak against. So Yuffie has a new spell for it. Yeah, this is different from, uh, I believe, the DLC of Intergrade a bit. Like, her moveset has been expanded upon, which is good. It should be expanded upon. Just like every, every character's moveset should be expanded upon. New abilities, things like that. Because she definitely didn't have a double ganger, a double ganger in freaking the DLC. That's for sure. Uh, Kate Sif. Basic attacks. Kesa darts about the battlefield with the agility of an acrobat, acrobat, or perhaps a cat, uh, assailing enemies from every side. When he wants to switch things up, he brings out his Mughal pal, changing his attacks. Oh, so he has essentially kind of two different move sets because he's got the Mughal, and you know, obviously, Kesa is the robotic cat, so. Abilities these cases these cases of exclusive moves can hurt enemies or buff allies, but most rely on luck in some way. True, because that's how his setup was in OG. Let's ride, however, allows him to hop on his Moogle, enhancing his regular attacks and his unique abilities. Okay, makes sense. He's stronger when he's on top of his Moogle. Makes sense. Unique abilities while riding his Moogle, Kesev can give enemies the Boot with drop kick. Oh, nice. Once his Moogle attacks have filled the Moogle meter, he can also buff his companions with abilities like defense. 
Okay. Synergy abilities. Synergy abilities are powerful attacks in which two characters team up to turn the tide of battle. More abilities will unlock as you increase the party level. Uh, a numerical expression of how closely knit your team is and deepen the affinity between party members. Nice. Build a synergy gauge by using abilities, then unleash a synchronized assault. Hmm. And the Mugi, Mugu Pinwheel synergy ability, Yuffie and Kate Sif. Yuffie and Kate Sif attack in tandem with a secret ninja technique. Final Fantasy so Reaper launches. Yep. Okay. This is all upon the di di difference launches. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, not, not too much. It seems like a lot, but it's not a lot of new details. But some really cool stuff here. Like, let's take a look at the images again. Um. Like this is sick right here. Uh, it looks like so far from the scene of footage and screenshots, they're not doing what I was kind of hoping and what some of the community was kind of hoping where they would do like an FF 10 type of party swap out thing on a fly. Um, and they're probably saving that for the third game if they are going to do it at all. But, uh, and that's probably because, because all the characters will be available to play as in the third game of this trilogy, this remake trilogy. So, whereas we only get Yuffie, Kate Sif, and Red 13 as the extra playable characters. So, but this still looks amazing. Like, holy hell, dude. Wow. I know these are not super high res, but these still look good. Uh, I you know, the enemy detail is freaking dope. You know? And the character detail. Yeah. Uh, was there another? Or was that all? I guess that's it, roughly. I mean, not too much else. It's different editions. I mean, I got the digital deluxe. I got it pre-ordered. I'm ready to go to play this. I can't wait to jump into this. I'm still going through FS7, uh, New Threat 2.0. And then I want to go through the remake, on uh, uh, the PS5 version, remake, integrate on a hardest difficulty um, leading up to this. And we essentially beat, we're, I'm, I'm not going to mess with the Yuffie DLC again, more than likely. I'm just not, it was a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but I'm probably just not going to mess with it and just do the uh, integrate base game on hard difficulty going in and then beat that and go right into rebirth from there, basically. So give me a nice overall refresher. Cause I, I mean, I, I remember, you know, fairly a good amount from what happened in the Yuffie DLC. And it's like the, like, uh, you know, trailer from that too. So, and they're going to have a recap anyway in Rebirth. So, I mean, there's always that too. They'll have like a recap video. I think they confirmed. So if need be, just, you know, glance over that basically. If so, But this is hype, dude. Like, this is exciting. Oh my God. Like, wow. Uh, this is going to be good. Uh, I'm looking forward to so much. My most anticipated game. More than likely going to be my game of the year, my personal game of the year. I don't think anything is probably going to top this. Um, I love Final Fantasy, you know, and we're getting more of this game, the sequel, more stuff. And we still haven't even seen everything yet. Like, we're still unsure of what the hell's going on as far as Zach's story, his portion of it being playable. Like, they've been very, very, like, secretive about that, holding back a lot still, you know. There's still a lot we don't know, and I know that launch trailer is going to drop, and it's going to spoil a lot of stuff, and I just, I'm going to avoid that because I don't want to get spoiled, and I don't want to go in this, like, with my, you know, certain theories and ideas of what's going to happen. For most part, we know what's going to happen already. There's not too much else to theorize on, but yeah, this is going to be such an incredible game.